let us discuss few problems based on function of a function. Look at this. If f of x is equal to e power 2x and g of x is equal to log root x for x greater than 0, then what is f of g of x? See, f of x is e power 2x, g of x is log root x. f of x is e power 2x, g of x is log root x. What is f of g of x? As f of x is e power 2x, you can write f of g of x is e power 2 times g of x. Is that correct? See, f of g of x is equal to e power 2 times g of x. But actually, what is g of x, dear students? e power 2 times g of x is log of root x. Do you agree with me? Right. That is equal to, we have the rule a power log b is equal to log of b power a that is equal to e power log of root x whole square. Is that correct? e power log of root x whole square. Square and root cancels, you will get e power log x. And of course, I should write mod x rather, but in this case, you can write it as x. e power log x is equal to x. Right? e power log x is equal to x. Therefore, option D is correct. Look at the next question dear students, f and g are two functions defined by f of x is equal to x by x plus 1, g of x is equal to x by 1 minus x. Then what is f of g of x? C dear students, f of g of x is given by f of x is x by x plus 1, g, f of g of x is g by g plus 1, right, g by g plus 1. So, what is g? g is x by 1 minus x. What is g plus 1? What is g plus 1? Right? g is x by 1 minus x, x by 1 minus x, so plus 1. What is g plus 1 dear students? Take 1 minus x as LCM, you will get x plus 1 minus x, x x cancels 1 by 1 minus x. But actually what is g of x to your students? g of x is x by 1 minus x. g plus 1 is 1 by 1 minus x. So easily 1 minus x, 1 minus x cancels. f of g of x is equal to x. Therefore, option D is correct. f of x is equal to x plus 1 whole square and g of x is equal to x square plus 1, then what is f of g of minus 3? Dear students, what is g of minus 3? g of minus 3 is minus 3 whole square plus 1, that is equal to 10. Is that correct? What is f of 10? f of 10 is 10 plus 1 whole square that is 11 square that is equal to 121. Now f of g of minus 3 is actually right f of g of minus 3 is actually 121 option A is correct.
Now, let us start how to draw the graph of minus f of x from f of x. Dear students, if you look at the graph, see I have just taken some arbitrary graph. You can see here there is a graph. We have f of x given and we are asked to draw minus f of x. How to draw minus f of x from f of x? So, between let us call this as this is 0, this is 1, 2, 3. Between 0 and 1, we have a part of sinusoidal curve which is in quadrant number 4. In first quadrant, we will get the replica of fourth quadrant. So, it will be like this. Do you agree with me? Right? This is minus f of x. We have a rectangle in first quadrant. So, between 1 and 2, we will write it to quadrant number 4. See, it is very, very simple. We have a part of sinusoidal curve here between 2 and 3, right? This is in quadrant number 1. I am writing it into quadrant number 4. I hope, dear students, you have understood this. So, here towards left side of y axis, we have in quadrant number 2, in second quadrant, we have a trapezoid. So, that has to come in quadrant number 3 because you will get the replica of quadrant number 2 in quadrant number 3. So, what about a triangular curve which is in quadrant number 3? It will go to quadrant number 2. Understood this dear students? Writing minus f of x is very very simple. Got it dear students? Please make a note of this. Dear friends, you DVG YouTube channel subscribe to our friends. You can see videos on